Hello, welcome back to Erica's Little Welsh Garden. Um, it's Saturday the 20th of April today and I'm just sat at home. I'm in my woodland garden where I created an instant raised bed garden about two months ago, I think it was now. As you can see behind me, I have these small green um, raised beds and I've got some slightly larger ones which are silver behind me. So in between the allotment and other projects, that I'm working on, I have been trying to transform this area into a really productive growing area. Now this um, bit of garden is situated in my woodland, so quite a lot of the area is shady, but the flat bit here gets a lovely bit of sun during the day, so a perfect place to have a raised bed garden. Um, I've already planted up um, half of the beds now, so I'm really keen to show you. Um, I also have other projects that I'm working on here as well that I will show you too. But generally, I really feel so excited to be sharing this with you because when I was talking about my, um, you know, my gardening goals for 2019, I sat here or I stood here actually with a blank canvas behind me, telling everybody what my plans were, and I'm starting to see those plans being realised now, which is really exciting. Um, if you didn't see that video and you want a little um, update on my 2019 goals, then I'll put a link to that video above. Um, but yeah, I'll stop talking now, spin the camera around and show you what I've been up to. I'm so pleased. So I'm really sorry that the lighting isn't too great here at the moment. Um, it's kind of not anywhere near sunset, but it's um, getting a little bit dark now because there is a shade. Um, but firstly, I want to show you this absolutely beautiful archway that my mum got me for my birthday. It was from Amazon and really, really happy with it. It was really easy to put together and really great value for money. I think it was about £15. Um, I'll put a link to it in um, the video though if you're interested in it because yeah it's absolutely lovely and um yeah pretty sturdy um on the left hand side here i've just planted my rose that my sister bought me for christmas uh, it's still got the christmas bauble on um absolutely lovely and the variety i'm not very good at pronouncing it let's have a look is uh Vol Volsham blue um but a really beautiful purple rose and this is on a rambling rootstock so I'm really really pleased with it um, just in this raised bed all I've put is some cardboard on the bottom um, lots of grass cuttings mixed with some topsoil so as you can see it needs a lot more um, compost kind of bringing it up on the right hand side is the first raised bed that I made which was um, using the Hoogle culture method that I filled that one up with. I'll put a link to that video above if you haven't seen it um, but you can also see that I have planted it. Now when I um, did a video actually planting all of this I had some really really old seeds um, and you can see here that all of these um, radishes germinated um, but only one row of the beetroot have germinated just along here um, the other row I think it was nine years out of date but yet yeah, nothing came from those and just in front of you here you have some um, bold hardy beetroot and in front of that there is some um, onions that I had left over from planting so that raised bed is pretty much um, you know already filled up now it's just waiting for plants to go into it i'm hoping though around this archway i'm going to be um growing some of my pumpkins or something and then in the bed here we have strawberries um, these are strawberries that i got from liz and they've already started flowering now so i'm really excited um yeah, you can see there's some flowers there and some flowers behind. That was filled up with Hoogle Culture Method as well and then some topsoil putting um, in there as well. And then this is the third bed that I filled up now. I've not filmed anything to do with this bed whatsoever. Um, this is just filled up again with topsoil that I've taken from um, just off screen. Um, and this have just got some second earlies in already called Wilja. Um, I'm not sure if I, if I have pronounced that correctly, um, but yeah, Wilja. And I think I was having a quick look and it looks like uh, the first lot of um, 
potatoes are starting to come through now so um, hopefully they'll be okay as you can see though it does um, need earthing up but I'll be doing that as and when the potatoes grow uh, now on the right hand side here this bed is still completely empty but yesterday I dug out um, some of the hillside here which was where obviously it was not able to be level so that's been leveled now and I've done the same with this raised bed here so I've just used um, the sods from the grass and stuff to put in the bottom of the beds for now um, yeah so I'm not exactly sure what is going to be going in either of these two beds yet um, but with the archway I've got here I'm really really keen to get um, some pumpkins and some things growing around that but obviously because I've got the rose on the right hand side now I'm not going to be able to do anything on that side but I am really tempted to get some more of these archways what do you think should I get some more of these archways um now you will know that I was planning on getting my greenhouse up the greenhouse base is here now the reason it's here is because I'm currently working on the foundations which are here um, so I can put my greenhouse up now um, I'm just doing quite a basic um, foundation for my greenhouse um, I've just got these bricks and I'm going to be putting them out um, just around the base and then building the um, greenhouse here so yeah sorry I would really have liked to have shown you this greenhouse up by now um, I was really hoping that it would be um, but it's not so my main plan for this is that I will come up um, between the raised beds here and then I will turn right and I hope I'm not spinning the camera around too much and then I will come into the greenhouse here so the doorway of the greenhouse is going to be here and then um, all of this area here that is very overgrown is going to um, be gotten rid of and I'm going to have a wildflower meadow going down this slope so that is the plans um, for this area but what I do now is I'll show you some other bits and pieces that's going on in my woodland garden at the moment so just behind where my greenhouse is going to be going, I've got this really lovely patch of wild garlic. It's absolutely lovely. I never do anything with it. I just really enjoy seeing it growing year after year. And I have another really big patch over by um, the shed. And I think there is a patch in the woodland kind of going that way. But yeah, it's really beautiful. But like I said, I never do anything with it. Do you do anything with wild garlic? And if so, let me know just in case you can inspire me to use it this year. So just behind me here is my duo pear tree that I planted earlier in the year. Really, really happy because I have buds now and leaves um, appearing, which is so exciting because I always worry whenever I get a bare rooted tree and I plant it, I'm always worried that maybe, you know, it's not going to take. Really happy with that. That is a concord and a conference. So hopefully um, next time I do an update for you, it will have loads of leaves on. And here is the plum tree that my brother and his girlfriend got me for Christmas. It's a Victoria plum. And again, I was really worried when I put it in whether or not it would take in this area. But you can see it's doing really, really well. So um, I'm hoping that it's going to thrive here. What I'm going to do this year is if I do get any flowers at all on it or any fruit set, I will just take it off this year so it can spend lots of time this year establishing. I also need to get a proper stake for it because as you can see, the stake here isn't too great um, but yes if you're ever wondering um, as a gardener what people can get you for your birthday or Christmas asking for fruit trees is amazing because in my opinion it's an, an everlasting presence so I'm gonna head inside now I really hope you've enjoyed watching what I've been up to today um, I'm planning though next month in May might be towards the end of May but I'm really hoping that when I update you on the um, woodland garden that actually that greenhouse is up now I have a couple of other fruit trees one just here I've got one here and there are just two here I have absolutely no idea what fruit trees they are so I've got one here and another one here 
No idea what any of those are. I inherited them with the house, but um, hopefully in a couple of years, if I get any fruit, I'll be able to find out and let you know. Um, so yes, anyway, I'm heading off inside, like I said now. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed today. And don't forget, if you're new to my channel, please do hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified of all of my latest videos. Thanks very much for watching. Take care. Bye.